Hello and welcome to this Power BI tutorial with me, James from Matador Software. Today we're going to be looking at Microsoft Lists and how we can integrate this with Power BI, get increased analytics, insights and look at trends with two simple clicks. So our list today is around sort of an offshore maintenance tracker for oil and gas drilling, but there's, there's multiple uses for Microsoft Lists. You can see it's dynamic, it's live, you can have multiple contributors. One of the huge strengths of Power BI is the Microsoft ecosystem and the, and the feeding from different apps that it has behind it. So uh, as well, you can see it's really visually appealing, looks great, but what happens if we want to see more insights? Well, this is actually a very simple process and the, the integration is great. So we can click on this integrate button and we can click on Power BI and visualize the list. Bang. And as standard, we get a Power BI visualization. However, it's not great. It's not entirely clear. It's a good starting point, but we've got this nice edit functionality and we can do everything um, within this screen here. So the first thing I'm going to do is click view selection pane and I'm going to go and hide all of these irrelevant visuals. I'm going to speed this part up slightly because this isn't the main focal point of the video. I'm going to build a very, very simple dashboard very quickly, but just to show you, it's great in that you get a, you get an existing data set and it's very easy to modify. And actually there's a bit of functionality that we'll look at the end where we can publish this back into the list and we can essentially, we've got this two way relationship very easily. So I'm just building visuals here to show some very basic trends. We can see the, the status of our maintenance and, and what's complete uh, and you know, whether these were a high priority critical and I'm actually just gonna, gonna move over. I'm already zoomed in, I'm gonna change this view slightly. Uh, we'll create one card, we'll just show the amount of critical maintenance items, and then we're gonna look at how we can publish this to our list back into Microsoft Lists. So all we need to do is click this publish to the list button where we can name our report. We have an offshore maintenance tracker list, so it would make sense just to make it specific and call it offshore maintenance analytics. And when we click publish, we get this really nice, it's a really nice view, a basic report, but it looks good. And you can see how we could really power up our lists. Now, if we want to delete that, we can actually click you can see it appeared in Microsoft Lists because I published it when I went into the integrate. And now if I want to delete it, I can just click this delete button and that will disappear. Give us a little warning, click delete. We can get back into our Microsoft Lists. And if we click on integrate now, everything is as it should be. Hopefully this has been a great insight into the Microsoft ecosystem as usual. Please feel free to like, comment, subscribe and share. Thank you.